so many above our head. This has like long yellow legs with some black fuzzy leg warmers throughout it and it has a baby behind it and the pattern on the back is just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys, I can see like body parts of like partially eaten. Hey, what's up guys? It's Christy McFit. And today we are at the Spider Pavilion at the Natural History Museum in LA. This exhibit is only for a few weeks and I knew I had to be there because I am a spider lover. Yes, I know it's totally weird, but hear me out. This one and the web it made so beautiful. It's so pretty. Wow, those markings are just incredible. This has like long yellow legs with some black fuzzy leg warmers throughout it, and it has a baby behind it. And the pattern on the back is just so beautiful. Do you guys see the eyes? Whoa. There's a jumping spider eating a fly right now. You can barely see it. You see the spots on its butt? Yeah, hiding behind the branch. Oh my gosh, guys, I can see like body parts of like partially eaten bugs within the web. Because I don't know if you guys know this, when spiders eat, they paralyze their victim and then they suck out all the insides and just toss the body. It's savagery. All right, guys, we just finished off at the Spider Pavilion. They were truly so beautiful, and, and spiders are so important to the environment. So next time you see one in your backyard or in your house, do not kill it. It's there to get rid of the pests that you really don't want and that can do damage. They're so sweet and smart and truly amazing. Let me know in the comments below if you like spiders or you're absolutely terrified. What helped me get over my fear of spiders was interacting with them, and now I have this great respect for them. So I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.